church family and happy Sabbath. Lovely to see a really full church this morning. Praise God. Um, so this morning's um, talk on health um, is following along from uh, Sister Thea's talk a couple of weeks ago when she spoke about the importance of water. Today I'm going to follow up that with um, telling you a little bit about what happens when we don't have enough water and our body dehydrates and giving you some tips of how to um, drink water and make it a pleasant experience. According to Barbara O'Neill of Misty Mountain Retreat in Australia, uh, she is one of our great health teachers that is now going around the world teaching the health message. Uh, you may have heard of Barbara or seen her on YouTube. She's a great advocate for the health message and she says that when talking about water, a lot of people say, I don't like drinking water. My feet swell up or I'm having to go to the bathroom all day so I'd rather not drink it. And if we understand that our bodies are made up of 80% of water and it's the second most needed element to sustain us, first is oxygen. And the third is sodium, which is the highest concentration mineral outside of our cells, that's sodium. So when people say they're running to the bathroom all day or their feet swell up, it probably means that there's not enough sodium going into the cell. So what helps sodium get into the cell? It's the mineral called magnesium. Now there are 92 minerals found in Celtic salt, and approximately 80 minerals found in Himalayan salt. Now each of these salts contain magnesium. There's magnesium bromide, magnesium chloride, and magnesium sulfate. And it's these minerals which help the moisture enter into the cell. Now normal table salt that we've all grown up with does not have the same effect because it has been bleached and aluminium has been added to it. And it's all because they wanted to make it flow freely, leaving the two harshest minerals remaining, which are sodium and chloride. Magnesium is a water-hungry molecule, and Celtic and Himalayan salts are very moisture-hungry. Therefore, the magnesium pulls the water into the cell, which is the quickest way to hydrate the body. Now when you take a crystal of Himalayan or Celtic salt and pop it on your tongue, the mucous membranes start absorbing the minerals and the magnesium is taken to the cell membrane. The only time excess water can be dangerous is when we drink too much at once and don't take the minerals that are in Celtic and Himalayan salts to pull the water into the cell. If you're going to the bathroom all day, or you're having the salt, are you having the salt crystal before every mouthful of water? Now that's something I learned when I came into um, the SDA church, learning this through teachers like, as I say, we've got Barbara O'Neill and we've got another one, Dr. Neil Needley in America of Weimar Institute. So, you know, don't take a whole glass of water at once. You know, just pace your drinking throughout the day, taking it little by little. Uh, when you're feeling a bit tired during the day, have your crystal of salt and your water and it'll actually give you a little pick-me-up. Um, and I personally like to add a few sprigs of mint, mint to the water for a lovely refreshing taste. Again, I'd like to um, promote Healing Hearts His Sanctuary, which Sister Thea and I run now. Um, we offer you the two-on-one um, consultations. If you have any health issues, um, please feel free to come and see us. The consultations are free, and so we'd, we'd love to help you, church family, with any issues that you have. And I'll just finish off today with God's word in Proverbs 3.13. He says, Happy is the man that findeth wisdom and the man that getteth understanding. Thank you. Mm -hmm.